One of the things I love about YouTube is talking to all of you. I love all of your questions. I love meeting you in person. But today, we're gonna talk about all the questions you've asked me. I picked a few and here we go. I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. I love sharing information with all of you, whether it's about real estate, my specialty, Casper, or other places in Wyoming. If you've ever watched one of my videos and have a question, now is the time to stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna answer a few of the questions I've been asked and respond to a few comments. From one person asked us how we could forget sherry's on our top five breakfast spots. The answer, we didn't. We didn't include it in my living in Casper five places you need to eat list, but Sherry's is number one for sure on our top breakfast places in the Casper list. But maybe it should be on both. Something I didn't know, thanks to this viewer, I do now. Thursday is homemade donut day at Sherry's. How did I not know this? Guess I know what I will be doing on Thursdays from now on. Another restaurant comment. Pizza Ranch, don't forget about Pizza Ranch. The chicken is the bomb. I am not even sure what video this came from. Maybe top five places you need to eat, or maybe just another one about amazing amenities you can find in Casper. Either way, I agree that the chicken is the bomb. You might not think a pizza buffet would be a great place to find excellent fried chicken, but boy, oh boy, it is so good. You can go to the restaurant and enjoy the entire buffet, or you can just order it to go. A couple of questions I've been asked multiple times, but which are very hard to answer, is about education and crime in Wyoming. As a real estate agent, I'm prohibited from speaking about crime and education in specific neighborhoods as it would be considered steering, guiding people away from specific areas or to them because of something. What I can say is for specific crime statistics for each city, you should reach out to the local police or sheriff department. You can also check out specific jurisdictions at crimestats.wio.gov. According to a US News ranking, Wyoming ranks 10th on the safest states in America list with a violent crime rate of only 234 per 100,000 and a population crime rate of 1,611 per 100,000. Even though Wyoming is ranked 10th, you have to consider that we also have a very low population. So the overall count of crime here as a total is lower than other areas with more people. When it comes to education, you can find rankings on usnews.com. When we looked, usnews.com indicated that Wyoming ranks 14th out of 50. You can find specific details about schools on the state of Wyoming's website. Another thing I will share is that here in Natrona County, we have a school of choice format, which means you don't have to live in a specific neighborhood to attend schools there. According to the school district, you have choices available for your child to attend any schools in the district, regardless on where you live within the county. Another question I've been asked, how does healthcare quality and the number of hospitals in the more populated counties compare with states like Minnesota, New Jersey, and New York? Let's start with the number of hospitals by state. Wyoming has 14 hospitals, Minnesota has 54, New Jersey has 76, and New York has 186. This makes sense as those states have a larger population than Wyoming. So it makes sense that they would need more hospitals. As far as number per county, only a couple of counties in Wyoming have more than one hospital. And even then, it is one hospital and a VA medical center per county. I can confidently say that Wyoming has fewer hospitals per county than any of the other states asked about. Now, as far as quality, according to hospitalsafetygrade.org, Wyoming ranks lowest of these four states. New York ranks barely above Wyoming. I will say that while Wyoming doesn't rank that high on the comparison list, there are still some amazing doctors here. Another interesting question that another viewer asked, and I actually get asked this a lot, how well does Wyoming uphold our Second Amendment? Well, we have the highest gun ownership rate per capita in all of the United States. I am going to have to say very well. Registered firearms in the state of Wyoming number over 132,000. Keep in mind, we have under 600,000 inhabitants statewide. In addition, Wyoming has long been the open carry state. Recently, the state policy was revised as of July 1st, 2021, concealed carry without a special permit is now legal for any legal resident of the U.S. who is 21 years or older and may otherwise lawfully possess a firearm in most situations in the state of Wyoming. As many of you know, I know a lot about rural and horse properties. So when one viewer said, I love the idea of moving into a rural area, 
but how far is it from the closest market to get the essentials? I can answer that relatively easy. Well, kind of. It really just depends on how rural you want to go. One of the best things about Wyoming is you can find a property that has lots of acreage, can't see your neighbors, and still only be 15 minutes away from town and groceries. If you decide to live a little bit further out or between towns, it could take a bit longer. But overall, the distance depends on you and what property you want. I do need to respond to the comment on my top 10 cities video too. To the viewer who said, we only have two cities based on the definition of a city that it has to be more than 50,000 people. I hate to disagree, but here in Wyoming, we define city in our own terms, specifically according to the definition found in Title 15 in the legislative documents in Wyoming, a first class city means an incorporated municipality having a population of 4,000 or more, which has been declared a first class city or which has taken the necessary steps to be and has been proclaimed a first class city. So I will stick with my claim when I am calling them the top 10 cities. Okay, so when I created that video, I wasn't really going by any set definition, more of what we think in Wyoming as our cities. Sure, they don't compare to larger cities found in other states, but I guess it's all relative. The same message goes out to my other viewer who mentioned that we really don't have cities, but it's okay because people don't move here because it's like New York. So very true. What we call city is nothing like in New York, and I am most definitely okay with that. Wyoming has a long history of defining things in our own terms, all the way back to before we were even a state. We earned the nickname the Equality State because we gave women the right to vote and to hold office, and we wouldn't give up those rights to become a state. Another viewer reminded me that we can't talk about women's suffrage in Wyoming without remembering Esther Hobart Morris, who was the mother of women's suffrage. Not only did she help pave the way for legislation that passed, but she was also the first female justice of the peace. Way back in 1870, she was the first woman to hold office in the entire nation. Definitely a woman to remember. To my critic on the pros and cons of Casper, who said it used every propaganda trick in the book to blow up Casper's image. I can only count four things that could be considered marketing propaganda. I definitely stacked the cards, but remember, I tried to provide balanced information and also mentioned the cons. Of course, I make no secret of loving living here. So I probably use some glittering generalities. I love where I live. I didn't resort to any name calling or testimonials, so I didn't use every trick in the book, and those I did weren't even intentional, just trying to share some information in an entertaining way. Thanks for asking about it though. I think the winter here may be a con for many. One of my viewers was stuck here during one of our winter storms, like the worst that we've had in a long time, and discovered that it might be difficult to leave when the major highways are closed for several days. Lack of food at their hotel room led them to Albertsons, which thankfully was open. The good news is that despite the poor experience, they do plan on coming back for a visit, but maybe not during the winter the next time. To this viewer, I hope you come back. We have a lot to offer visitors, even if it's a little challenging during the winter months. Here in Wyoming, we tend to pride ourselves on our friendly nature. In spite of another viewer who quipped, sorry folks, Wyoming is at max capacity. We do still have room for a few more good people around here. So to this viewer, sell that house in Colorado and come over to the good side here in Wyoming. If Casper is your ultimate destination, I happen to know a good real estate agent that can help you find the place you'll love. There you have it. Some answers to the questions and comments. If I missed yours, reach out to me and I'll do my best to answer your question next time. I absolutely love your comments, negative or positive. I love talking to you all, and I can't wait to meet you in person or talk to you on the phone. My team and I have time for you. We'd love to help you find the home of your dreams here in Casper, Wyoming, or anywhere in Wyoming. So reach out to us. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.